Happy day, Crystal Souls. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm coming with an Epic card reading, and this one is your Twin Flame reading. By the way, if you are interested to discover who is your Twin Flame, or if you have someone in mind and you want to confirm this relationship between you two, you can book a personal reading with me, and I'll be so glad to announce if it's your twin, a soulmate, or else. Alright, so if you are interested, you can find all the details in the description down below. So same thing for my Instagram and also for my spiritual shop if you are interested. Everything is just down below. <laughs> As you may know, I was actually opening a giveaway on my last video, so if you participated, here is the winner of this giveaway. Congratulations! I will contact you very soon for you to have your personal reading. Now to pick your group, you can press pause, meditate on the cards and select the one that your intuition is picking. And you can of course use a pendulum for this step. And when you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. Alright, I think it's time for your reading. Let's start it. So here's the first group, the Amethyst, and the second group, the Rose Quart. Let's start with the first group. This is pretty exciting, the Ace of Cups. So this one symbolizes emotional and spiritual serenity, new relationship and love. <laughs> All right. This is announcing something for sure and this is a new beginning. So this may be an offer for you to communicate with your twin, to get close to your twin. I'm seeing flow you know, the water going out of the cup. You have enough to give. And I believe this twin is also ready to be in that relationship. And this is why this flow of love is actually going to enter your life, I believe. And you can also see the mountains on the background. So this is you being grounded, being strong enough. And this is also, for me, a new beginning that will last in time and be strong like the mountains. And yeah, I'm seeing growth. I'm seeing flow, I'm seeing the water being on top of the water, so this is something that is floating, this is something that is pretty much entering your life, you can feel the energy, you can feel the flow, you can, you can see the shift, I'm also seeing the sun behind, so this can be your divine masculine entering, this can be that this is a divine masculine that has to do this offer of love, offering their cup first, so it can be that if you incarnate the masculine energy, then this may be a sign that you need to confess, and make the first move and start this new beginning with your divine feminine and it's not about you know you embodying this feminine person it doesn't mean you are the feminine energy if you want you can use a pendulum to discover your feminine energy or if you are the masculine of your soul as a twin but yes this is announcing something good the water is cold there's a lot of flow a lot of light even so this is pretty much telling me you two are ready to be in that relationship you two are probably even sharing your energy working on your twin flame journey and this is why this new beginning is imminent this is starting to manifest and you may know that this new beginning is actually already a thing especially in the energy you are actually separated but this is an illusion because you are already one with your twin i mean your twin is no one but you so this is pretty much your essence being in another body another form and this is pretty much announcing that this new beginning has already started but now it's going to manifest in a 3d the six of wands so this one symbolizes victory success accomplishment and recognition <laughs> all right so this means to me if you don't know who your twin is or maybe if your twin doesn't know who you are it can be that he or she because it doesn't matter but yeah it can be that this person will actually recognize you and especially because this person will feel like there is something magnetic between you two you can see yourself in him as well and also with the water this, this is talking about reflection you will reflect this person's energy you will reflect this person um, experiences personality how they talk even or something um, maybe in the physical form but yeah i'm seeing that this person will recognize you or you will recognize your twin and this is what is going to create an opportunity for you to connect and start this new beginning but this is pretty much you um moving further if you are the masculine because i'm saying that this is more of a masculine uh, mission now if you want to move on and actually unite with your twin but you are the feminine energy go for it i'm not saying do not do it because this is this person's mission no if you have the opportunity go for it but i'm saying that this may be more of a mission for the masculine to reveal himself and i'm talking about the soul's energy okay himself to this feminine energy 
But yeah, I'm seeing success, I'm seeing motion, I'm seeing this person being dedicated to move on, to unite. And the six represent beauty and love. So this is someone who wants love, this is someone who wants growth as well because I'm seeing the nature all around. I'm also seeing this crown here of nature. So this symbolizes for me some type of protection. This person is secure enough to engage himself or herself in this relationship. This person feels complete as well because this can represent completion. So I believe this is why the two of you are going to get an opportunity for you to unite or to talk to each other, to start a new beginning with each other pretty soon. I'm also seeing the red ribbon here. So this is just a confirmation that you two are connected spiritually and now it's a part of your destiny to unite with each other. Now I believe it can happen um, pretty soon. I'm seeing this coming pretty uh, fastly, but... Um, do not be disappointed if it's taking a little while because it's always about divine timing. But I'm seeing summer season here, spring season, um, maybe autumn with the color red. But yeah, I'm seeing this coming and I believe this is coming when you are going to be ready, when you will have your cup full as well so you can give enough love to that twin. And so I believe this person will have to be on the same level also because otherwise this is not going to work and this is not the point. You are supposed to be with your twin to work on your divine mission, to work on yourself, to grow and to heal as well. So this is pretty much you two being ready and when you will be ready, you will have an opportunity for you to move further in that relationship. The seventh chakra, so this is the crown chakra. So this one is pretty much asking you to maybe open up to the universe, maybe ask your angels and guides to show you the way in order for you to be more connected with your twin. This is what I'm saying here. And I'm saying the number 41. So the number four is about unity. The number one is a new beginning. So this is a new beginning that will turn into a, a union. And you can also see a lot of clarity around this person. Like this angel is just ready for the next chapter because she's holding this book. So I believe this is going to happen pretty soon. I'm seeing the wings being opened. So there is a sense of freedom, of being ready, opening up to that person. It can also be the symbol. And yeah, she's in tune. She's just looking at the future. And this is pretty much your guides represented on this card or archangel and maybe she's guiding or your guides are guiding you towards this person because they feel like you are ready you are ready to write a new story you are ready to open up you are ready to connect with the universe even because the crown chakra is to connect with the energy of the universe um anything around you so you can be in tune so this is pretty much telling me you are going to enter the space you are going to receive maybe inspiration in your journey for you to be directed towards your twin or maybe to have hints and symbol on how to confess if you are actually uh, the one that needs to communicate with that person to create an opportunity for this new beginning with your twin to start in my opinion, with this book in her hand, actually described that you have this love in your hand. You know, the way you will write your story, the way you will write your life is in your hand, you know. And if you feel like you are ready to be in that relationship, then go for it because you can write it positively. You can influence the story as you want. So this is pretty much giving you the power here and also freedom to, um, you know, do things the way you want to do um, them and also giving you power to be in tune within yourself, you know, give that love when you feel like this is the right time for you. So yeah, try to not be pressured if you do not feel ready or if you still, um, you know, need some time for yourself. But I believe this is pretty much you being open for that change because you believe that this is the next step. This is the next chapter for you. The seat. It can be that there were a connection between you two. I'm not saying that this is pretty much a future energy. This may be something that is related to something um, that happened. So it can be that some of you have met your twin and she was a bit deceived. Or it can be that you are being a bit impatient. And so you are being deceived because things are not moving as fast as you wanted or you was expecting things to happen because people were giving you delays and you was expecting it. The thing is, when you expect things, you are lacking trust in the universe. And the more you lack trust, 
the less it comes your way. So you have to really relax and detach yourself from any results and just go with the flow. Be open to whatever is coming your way because this is how you are going to open this box and see the treasure inside it. Because I'm seeing that this one is closed. Even though you're seeing this abundance coming out of it, it's pretty much challenging you. And I think the universe is challenging you with delays because they want to test your patience. They want you to be ready. They want you to be more relaxed with it and not needy of that love because you should have your cup full. And if you are needy of love, you don't have your cup full. I'm sorry. So you need to work on yourself. You need to work on self-love. You need to be more grounded and you need to be more okay with that present situation of you being alone embracing yourself celebrating yourself and you should be in that vibe you should be in that frequency of love of self-love in order for you to have this opportunity and new beginning with your twin so if you are deceived ask yourself why and ask yourself why is it manifesting this way do you still need some time for yourself do you still need to work on yourself for you to be more grounded and more welcoming with whatever is happening because I think this may be the case for some of you. You may expect things and be deceived because it's not happening or you're not seeing it or it's taking too much time and so you're just being so impatient that you want to quit, that you don't want to engage yourself in that twin flame journey anymore. But if it's the case, I think you are going to miss, to miss this opportunity because you may not be ready in this lifetime to unite with your twin. And that's a shame because I think you will be happy with your twin. I'm seeing romance, I'm seeing a lot of flow, healing energy, I'm seeing so much love here and care and also someone that will make you grow and grounded like a mountain. So please, if you are being impatient, work on that, trust the universe and things are going to happen. Just trust it. Shop wood. Oh, and by the way, the number 25 is about union for the number two and the number five is change, creation, balance. So I think you need to be more balanced within yourself so you can actually manifest this love. And by the way, I'm seeing the curtain. So it can be that this person is going to be revealed when you will be in a positive energy, when you will be less... Um, you know, needy of love or needy of some connection with your twin because you are whole and complete right now and you should be in order for you to have this manifestation happening in your life and for this person to reveal himself. I'm also seeing a lot of red, so this is connected to passion. So please be patient and keep on working on yourself. I'm also seeing the candle, so this is something that is going to bring passion. It can also symbolize hope. So yeah, be patient, things are going to manifest. So shop root is just pretty much telling you, you need to be working on yourself, work on your journey, understand in the very beginning, what is your twin flame mission? What do you think you have as a mission as a twin soul in order for you to work on this one? Because if you start to work on this, you are already on this vibration, on this energy. So it will manifest even more quickly, this union. And you can see the number 40. Two, so the number four, unity, and the number two, union. It's pretty simple. I think when you will be in alignment with what you need to do in this lifetime, when you will do what is right, this is going to be an open door for you to receive the blessing because I'm seeing the ray of light, I'm seeing these doors being opened. So this is a symbol that things are going to manifest when you will be doing your job doing what you are supposed to do. And it can be also inner work. It doesn't have to be that you have to work in something right now. You can wait for your twin to be here. But I think the more you are actually in alignment with what you need to do as a twin soul, this is going to be a lot more easy for you to manifest this opportunity in order for you to also be in tune and also on the right path and not have to change so many things when your twin will be in your life. Because the more ready you are, the easier this relationship is going to be. All that glitters. This is a symbol for me that some of you may be popular or you want to work on something that is going to make you feel seen. That is going to empower a lot of people and inspire people. I'm saying that all the glitters may represent you shining to others, you inspiring others and bringing that positivity to others. So whatever you will do, I believe your twin mission is to shine. 
It is about showing who you truly are, being authentic, doing something that is right for you, doing something that is meaningful for your soul. So you can be in alignment with that energy. And I believe you, your twin is also doing the same. It can also be celebrity here because all that shine, you are supposed to shine in front of people, maybe on stage with what you do. It can be online even. Yeah, I'm saying that you may actually be seen and this can be also the symbol of the curtain. The curtains are opening up for you to be seen on stage or maybe this is something you want to do. Maybe even as a as a young age, at, at a young age, you wanted to be seen, you wanted to be famous and you didn't know why. It can be that this is because as a soul, you could remember a lot more your mission of what you needed to do. And so you wanted to be seen to influence people positively and shine with them. So this is pretty much what I'm getting here. I think you two that are represented with the masks, you have a mission that is bigger than maybe what you expected, or maybe you're already on this path and shining and influencing people, but I'm seeing growth, I'm seeing you actually doing what is going to em empower people for sure, and also inspire them. So yeah, try to do something that is going to bring positivity to others. I'm also seeing the number 16, so the number one is a new beginning and the number six, beauty and love. So you need to do something you love to do, you need to be in that energy, um, tune with something you dream to do, definitely. But I think your goal is to inspire people, to help people, to bring that positivity, that light in their life. And I think this may be your twin's mission because I mean, the two of you are represented here. This can also be with the mask that you don't know your twin flame already, so you don't know their faces, or maybe you just don't know how to remove your mask, that person, so maybe this person doesn't know who you are, but you know, or the opposite. Look what is coming. Love, compassion, this is beautiful. I am seeing an offer from this hand, you know, offering you this love and the other one is pretty much here to receive that one. So again, this is confirming that there might be one of you that has this mission to enter um, their twin's life. So it can be you. I'm seeing more that mission for masculine energy. I have to be honest. Now, if you feel like you are the feminine, but you still want to be the one that is confessing, go for it. As I said, I'm not here to limit you. This is your life. This is your reality. And um, everything is different for everybody. This is a general reading anyway. But yeah, I'm seeing someone offering their love, compassion, maybe their help. I'm also seeing healing energy with a green color or growth energy. I think this love you will give to your twin or maybe this per this twin will give to you is going to make you grow. It's going to make you feel grounded and loved and understood for the first time. And this is also like a mirrored reality you know you see the the opening so it's the mirror of the hand so this is just confirming that the two of you are going to be each other's mirror and also giving the same type of love because you have been in my opinion experiencing a lot of um, lessons that were similar so you are pretty much on the same path doing the same thing or being in the same type of energy or seeing the world with the same lens and this is why you two can connect and also understand each other on a very deep level and this is what I'm saying with the compassion word because you can understand this person deeply you can be here for that person and this person can be here for you as well so this love is going to grow and i think self-love is going to be super important as well so maybe this is your mission right now if you are in separation now if you are with your twin you need to show your love you need to show how much you care about them in order for you to move on in that relationship and also create more love in that one and even inspiration you don't need to be next to your twin for this one to receive your love because as i said you are one this one is connected to you this one feels you this one understands you even from the distance sometimes you may feel down and you don't know why this is because your twin might be feeling this way you know so this person's energy is going to be your energy and this is why the more positive and loving you are then this is how your twin is going to evolve as well and feel influenced by your energy so this is what i believe this is pretty much of a mirrored experience on this card and you are understanding this and this is why you can send the love from the distance for this love to enter your life and to you know embody in this 3d world 
This can also represent some type of offer, new beginning. So as I said, this can be someone coming your way and being ready to be in that twin flame journey, in that relationship. Now, do not welcome the next one that will come your way. It's not obviously your twin. Take your time, analyze, see if you can see or sense something and you will sense something because trust me, the energy is so strong, the energy is so loving. You won't be able to doubt this connection for sure, this energy that is between you two. So as I said, this person may be very magnetic, very loving, pretty much your reflection and you will feel at ease around this person. You will feel like you can understand yourself even more when you are around this person because this person reflects you or maybe use the word that you was waiting for see so i'm seeing some type of connection between you two and this may be happening already in the energetic world but i'm sensing that this may come in the 3d pretty soon too and yes it will come pretty soon because things are in motion movement river and the river is here to nourish yourself to cleanse yourself so the water is going to be here to purify your soul and i think this is going to prepare you to be in that relationship so if you feel like there's still something holding you back heal yourself move on from this energy be in motion like the water you know do not stagnate in any corner of that river go with the flow move on seek for clarity again we can see the ray of light the ray of light the ray of light so i think this is pretty much your twin's energy showing you the direction showing you hints maybe synchronicities visions and so this is in order for you two to be with each other or for you to be directed towards your twin so I believe you are being guided here. I believe you are going to receive some symbols and be in motion because you need to be. And you can also see the mountains. And this can represent the both of you because you are separated with the river. But the river is not really separating you. This is nourishing both of the mountains. So this is beautiful, a beautiful symbol. You can also see that the river is also acting like a mirror. In that scene because the the mountains mirror each other they are facing each other and this can also mean that you two are going to be presented to each other and this is when you will recognize that okay this is the one this is my twin I've been waiting for this person I can see myself in this person and this is why I believe the reader is just here to kind of be a messenger or maybe be here in between yourself in order for you to recognize the energy shaman ancient alien and wisdom beautiful this is just screaming old souls here and i mean twin flames are old souls so this can also be healing energy because shaman has healing energy i'm also seeing the green color so maybe you are meant to be healers or maybe one of you is a healer and maybe this is your twin mission to do that to bring some type of healing, inspiration, or maybe with what you do, you will heal people. And you can heal people with just, you know, giving them a massage. Um, it can be um, creating something, art, um, being an inspiration in general. You heal people in very different ways. It doesn't have to be that you have to be in the medical system or um, anything like that. No, you can do different things, but I believe your soul is going to know the direction you need to take. And I think this is a, me a message that you two will recognize each other because you are old souls, but also because you two are doing something that is connected to healing, inspiration, boosting people, helping people, and awakening people also. Because your wisdom is going to bring light to others. And this is why I believe you two are shining. And this is in order for you to inspire people to shine with you. All right, so now I'm going to share two cards and these are the messages from your angels, guides and the universe. So the first one is healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthful diet, get adequate sleep and exercise regularly for optimal health. Beautiful. And you could see there is a lot of green here. So you need to be healing. You need to be in good health. And also the green color is related to your heart chakra so you need to have this love within so you can heal yourself love your body love your twin from the distance love yourself because if you tune with the love energy you are going to heal yourself but as this card says you need to also eat healthy exercise sleep well 
and you know take care about yourself do something that is actually improving your your health and also the words you use are super important are super important because your words are energy and as you may know you are energy so the words you use vibrate in your body as well you are your words you are your thoughts you are your belief because you don't have to pronounce it for it to happen and you, and you may you may know that your thoughts are energy as well so they can be sensed out of your body and they travel in this universe so this is why i believe you using the right words the the, the right energy is going to help you to be healthy but also for your twin to be healthy because as i said you are each other's mirror you are con connected and you can influence this person's journey on this twin flame journey with the things you do with how you treat yourself even so this is why you need to be a positive influence not just for your twin but also for people and the last card focused intention Keep your unwavering thoughts, feeling and action focused on your target and you will make your mark. Beautiful. I think this is related to that <laughs> because some of you have been deceived, they wanted to quit, they wanted to give up. But the thing is, if you give up now, you are going to be regretting it later because when you quit something, the door that was open for you is going to close up because you are denying it. You don't want it. Okay, we're taking it back. But when you want to reopen the door, ooh, this is going to be super hard to open. So this is why if you want to be in this twin flame journey, if you want to be with your twin, keep on manifesting. Trust the universe, trust yourself. And I think, I mean, this is the messages. These are the messages of the universe, guides and angels. So they want you to be in that mission. They want you to dedicate your time to that twin flame journey and energy and love. So if you want to be with that twin, keep this arrow pointed in that direction. Because if you change this direction, this is going to be a lot more harder to go back when you will want to go back with your twin. So for example, if your twin if is with for example, if your twin is with someone Maybe your twin is meant to be a friend. Maybe your twin is not ready yet to be in that relationship. So maybe you need to wait. Now I'm not I'm not saying put your your life on pause. No, you can experience love on your own and you know still continue to work on your twin flame journey. I'm not saying that you have to be with that person in a romance to work on this twin flame journey either. You know, everything is different for every twin. Some people choose to just be friends. Some people are just in your family. So they're just family members. Um, but some people want romance. I'm saying that for the majority of you, this is romance. Now, if there is something that is blocking it, try to understand how you can unblock it if it's in your power. Now, if this person is experiencing love, do not break this one because this is your twin. This is you. Would you want someone entering your life and telling you to quit your partner because they want to be with you? I don't think so. So don't be this person, please. Be patient if you want to be with your twin flame. If you feel like there is an opportunity, then wait patiently. Work on self-love, work on yourself, but still focus on this intention to be with that twin flame or to communicate with. Now you can still be a friend if this person is with someone. I'm saying this because this can be a scenario for some of you. I'm not saying that this is happening for everyone. No, it can be different for everybody. But yeah, keep on working on yourself, become your own pillar, missing these pillars. So you have to have this structure you know, you being strong like the, the mountains, Ethan, being a pillar in life so you can actually attract this twin when this person will be strong enough to be in that relationship. All right, so now I'm going to do something a bit different. So I'm going to use my crystal ball and see if I'm seeing any extra messages for you guys. All right, so let's move on. So I'm seeing a boat for some of you. So it can be that this relationship is actually coming from the distance, maybe overseas. I'm also seeing a butterfly. So it can be change coming, transformation. So maybe you need to transform yourself in order for this change to happen. 
I'm seeing the number five. So yes, this is change coming, balance, creation. I'm seeing the word like. Maybe this describes that you are like your twin. So you are the member of your twin. It can be that you love this person. So this person will like you back. So do not be afraid about that. If you feel like your twin is going to reject you or not love you or like you, this may be the message for you. I think your twin is going to accept you and love you too. I'm saying the word hop. It can be some type of transition. Maybe you need to, you know, go up. Maybe have a stronger self-esteem. See yourself with more value. See how precious you are. You know, improving something for it to grow up. It can also be working on your career. So to make it evolve in a way. Or maybe this connection with your twin to make it evolve. I'm seeing the letter K. So it can be related to... The name. Seeing the letter E. I'm seeing the mountains. So I think you need to be grounded. I think you need to be at that state for things to be in motion. You know, so you need to be strong like the mountains. I'm seeing an arrow as well, pointed in one direction. So I think this is pretty much related to that. You need to understand the direction you are taking with your life, with what you do, in order for you to also be in motion towards this twin that is waiting for you. I think I'm going to stop here because I heard stop. But yeah, I hope you liked this reading. It was a bit different and I wanted it to be different because um, yeah, I want to add something more, more layers, more messages for you guys. So I hope you will like it. If you do, please let me know down below what you think about this one. Put a thumbs up. This is always super helpful. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I will see you very soon, Crystal Souls. Let's move on to the second group. In the second group. So the first card is the Queen of Pentacles. So this one symbolizes Mother Earth, Harmony, Nurturing and Dependable. What I'm saying for you guys is that you need to embody this queen. You need to be, you know, strong enough. You need to work on your career. You need to be whole and complete. You need to also seek for growth because I'm seeing this bouquet and you are holding it. So this is pretty much you working on yourself growing on your own and feeling stable this way. I'm also seeing money, so it can be working on your career, feeling like you are enough or doing something that is making you feel enough or that is going to bring some type of abundance in your life. I'm also seeing fidelity, faith with the dog and growth with the flowers, romance also because these are roses and red is about passion, love. I'm also seeing the mountains and you need to be grounded, you need to feel strong, you need to feel whole and complete as I said before. So this is pretty much you being in your power. You have enough to give, you understand that and this is what is going to allow you to manifest your twin in my opinion. So this is pretty much telling me you need to work on yourself and that's it. Because the rest is just going to manifest. You don't really have to put so much work into it. You just have to work on your mission, do something that's meaningful for your soul in order for you to receive this blessing, this abundance in your life, in order for you to find some type of stability, be strong like the mountains, and you will have some type of faith with the universe as well. So maybe this dog is actually a symbol that you need to have faith in the universe, faith in yourself as well, in what you do, in order for this to grow even more. Because I'm seeing a lot of growth, you being grounded with the nature. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much about growth, career, um, stability, you not having to depend on someone because you are someone that is dependable. And yeah, being in tune, doing what is right for you. 
definitely. And I think your twin is going to have to be on the same vibe, on the same uh, energy of working on something that's meaningful, working on something that is going to grow and that is going to give some type of stability. So yeah, I think the both of you are in the same energy and this is also what is going to you know, make the two of you be able to recognize each other because you will do pretty much the same type of mission or you will be successful as well, or the both of you. Now I'm not saying you have to be successful, like be um, super rich or something like that. No, you just need to be content with what you do. This is the big message. Look what's coming. <laughs> the lovers, it's beautiful. All right, I think this is why you need to work on yourself because what is going to be presented to you is true love and they want you to be ready for that. So this is why you need to be stable in order for this one to also, you know, recognize yourself, recognize how strong you are, how much you're shining and growing and being happy where you are. So this is why this stability, this growth is going to manifest this growth in that reality, in that relationship between you two. I'm seeing a lot of flow, so change is coming. This angel is pretty much presenting you your twin flame, presenting you this love in your life. So I think you are going to be guided, you are going to be influenced also in this um, in this journey. So you may receive some symbols, synchronicities, mirrored clocks, maybe you see the name of the person everywhere, maybe you feel the urge to travel somewhere, I don't know, but I believe you feel the urge to do something or you feel that there is a shift of energy and this is what is going to allow you to, to be ascending on the same path together. I'm saying this because I'm seeing the steps here. So this is you pretty much ascending to the divine, to the angels, clarity also because I'm seeing the moon or the sun behind you. This is pretty much connection. You need to move on in life, ascend in life in order for you to ascend on the same path. You know, you will take a new path. I mean, um, you two will take different path and grow and grow and at some point you will meet each other. And I think this is pretty much what this is about. You are going to meet this one where we, when you will actually detach yourself from any need from that person. Be stable on your own, be content with your life, feel okay. So you can actually be in that energy of love and not lack. And this is why you are going to be presented this love. And you can see on this one, a lot of flow with the river water energy is about nourishing, it's about healing as well. And also the nature all around you is about growth. So this is pretty much confirming that when you will be on this path of growth, you will grow even more. And this is what is going to manifest your twin flame. The first chakra, Archangel Michael. Beautiful. Now, I have to say this, you may need to be more grounded. So, um, it can be you being more secure with what you do, being more proud of yourself. Um, maybe be around nature a lot more in order for you to be more grounded, you know. So, yeah, I'm saying that you need to be in an environment that is going to allow you to be more grounded. So also to be around people that are going to support you, that are going to make you feel proud about yourself, that are going to be on the same journey of growth and that are going to be content. You need to be satisfied with what you do with your journey in order for you to be at ease, you know, within your body as well, with, with your experience, with what you attract in your life, with what you live. So this is super important for you to be grounded even. And also this chakra is related to money so maybe you need to be content with the money you are making try to be grateful also because i believe this gratitude is going to allow you to be more grounded to be more um, in tune with the earth with this abundance in order for you to also receive even more of that one but in the very beginning you need to be grateful for what you receive for what you experience in order for you to be more at ease within yourself, with this experience, with the world around you. And you can see the number 35. So the number three is about growth. The number five is about change, creation, balance. Maybe this is about balancing this energy. So maybe activating this root chakra. Um, when I'm saying balancing, some people think they have to kind of reduce. It's not that much. You need to activate your chakra in a healthy way. It's never too open, in my opinion. It's just that 
if it's unhealthy, I believe it's actually very condensed as an energy. So it's not vibrating enough for things to be healthy. Also, the root chakra is about you know, sexual energy. So it can be that if you are floating around, you know, trying different things with different partners and not really being in that moment, in that self-love and just consuming life that much, it's going to make you feel ungrounded. And this root chakra is going to be kind of um, you know, low. And also if you experienced anything in the past that was toxic in relationship with sex in general, then you need to heal from that. So what you can do is to maybe ground yourself, go in nature, meditate, try to be in that moment when you experience that painful trauma related to uh, sexual abuse maybe or um, maybe people touching you and you, you wasn't okay with that or feeling forced to actually give yourself because you felt the need to do that but you wasn't having this envy it can be related to that so if you have some blockage it can be about money or it can be about relationships in general especially uh, intimate you know relationships so yeah just saying you may need some healing some balance um, in order for you to move from that energy. So, definitely healing. The world card. As I said, you need to be in tune with the world, with the things you experience, in order for you to be, you know, grateful for what you experience in this life. I'm seeing you moving further, welcoming the world, maybe with a different lens. Understanding that what you experience is pretty much a reflection of your energy. And so you're going to be more in tune and also creating opportunities in the 3D world. Because I believe this talks about manifesting exactly what you wanted. You can see like the one phase of the hearth is actually, you know, living during the day so this is pretty much the energy the sun energy and then this is pretty much the moon energy and by the way the world card is about completion so i I'm, I'm seeing pretty much the feminine energy with the moon here and also the sun kind of connecting each other and kind of bringing this light or this energy this influence to the world so this means for me that your twin mission has to be connected to bringing light, maybe clarity to the world, even when things seem to be dark. Because this darkness is also needed in order for us to also love and embrace this light. So I think this is pretty much you two's energy that is going to inspire or improve this world frequency, energy that we live here. So you may be a light worker or do something alone, along this energy you may be here to make the world grow to empower people to bring clarity where there is darkness in order for them to be more grounded and to heal with you because i believe all the things we experience as traumas and pains are here actually to empower ourselves and they are not supposed to weaken us so if this is happening Understand that this is a teaching, this is a lesson in order for you to be more empowered and in order for you to bring this healing to others and inspire the world as well. Because this talks about completion, as I said, this is pretty much you two's energy actually, you know, being one, becoming one. So this is for me again a symbol of you uniting with your twin flame. And because you are actually moving further to that completion. This means you are ready to be in that twin flame journey. And I believe your twin is also ready. So this is why this is manifesting or this is about to manifest. And I'm saying summer season especially. Yes, definitely summer or autumn season because I'm seeing these colors. This is pretty much the same type of season that I was seeing on the other group. Now, as I told the other group, this delay is just general. This is an energy. This is a general reading even. Do not expect anything. Go with the flow. Go with your life. Work on your mission, on your life. Do not care about that because if you attach too much importance on a delay and if you expect something, this creates resistance. And when you lack trust, for example, in the universe, because you expect something to happen and it's not happening, this is going to make it go even more further back in the future and you won't reach it before um, and you won't reach it for a long time. So this is why you need to be trustful and go with the flow. I'm also seeing blue energy, by the way. 
So the blue can relate to your throat chakra. Maybe you need to voice something in order for this manifestation to happen, for this completion to happen. Or maybe you'll be the voice to inspire people. It can be also that someone is doing something with their voice or your mission is to voice your truth, inspire people with that. Um, so with your voice in general, it can be creating something, voicing something. Uh, it can also be singing. This is what I heard. So it can be that you are a singer or want to be a singer or perform. You know, voice something in general. And the number 29, by the way, represent two union. And the number nine is about chaos before perfection. So I believe you was experiencing some type of traumas. In order for you to grow and to also heal from that. In order for you to also direct yourself on what is going to be perfect for you. And I believe this tween is going to be exactly who you wanted to unite with. This is going to be your love. This is actually the right partner for you. So this is why they want you to be ready. They want you to be healed. In order for you to be in that relationship at your best state. Now, I'm not saying you have to be perfect, nobody's perfect, and do not expect you or this twin to be perfect, but you are going to be a lot more wise, a lot more grown up, and, and this is going to benefit this relationship even. Surrender pity. This is for me a symbol of luck, you moving with the flow, and you being welcomed as well. You also embody this, um, butterfly so this one symbolizes transformation rebirth and also change coming so this is pretty much a lot of flow things flowing your way luck being around you you are going to be lucky and the green color is about love nature growth so this is pretty much you moving towards something that is going to grow in your life that is going to bring some type of, st of stability now this word is actually representing that what you expected or what you may expect may actually be different you are working on something, maybe trying to manifest this union in a certain way, or maybe you expect something to happen, but this is going to surprise you because this is going to be completely different. So try to not expect too much, as I said, or maybe you are going to be surprised. I mean, you are going to be surprised positively, this is for sure, because the energy is very beautiful here. So yeah, I'm seeing things, you know, being motion changing, and this is actually going to benefit this relationship with your twin but now I have to say this may be different from what you expected a lot more mysterious a lot more empowering even I just heard that so yeah I think sometimes it's best for us to not know everything I know that we want to know more and more and maybe do these readings to actually know more and more and it's okay I love to know as well and I always want to discover but the thing is it's also good to have some mystery when you unite with your twin. So I think this is pretty much what this message of this card is about. You know, maybe you know a lot of things, but you won't know exactly the big picture. And I think your guides and the universe want to keep it a bit mysterious for you to enjoy, you know, you uniting with this one, with your twin. Poised. There is some sense of stability, balance. So yeah. Again, this is talking about this, you need to be balanced, you need to be on pillar, this is pretty much the energy of the queen, you need to be feeling enough, you need to feel grateful for all the things you experience, you need to celebrate life, look at her, she's just opening her arm, being ready for whatever is coming her way, and you can see the blessing with the stars, so, and the stars represent also the guides, so I think the universe, your guides, your angels, they are going to bring something different in, in your life, that is going to... Make this life even more exciting. This is what I'm saying here. And also the blessings are coming. So as I said, go with the flow. Do what is right for you. Do not really attach too much importance to whatever you want things to happen. You know, try to just be welcoming with whatever is coming your way. Even though we want to influence things sometimes. I think this is not what you are supposed to do. And you also embody the butterfly here. So you need to transform yourself. You need to change yourself, maybe. Um, empower yourself and feel alive again. Because this is a symbol of the butterfly. You need to rebirth, in a way. And I think we birth from any traumas or any experiences that were pretty dark. In order for you to be more grounded and at ease with who you are. And with your experiences as well. So I'm seeing some type of healing, stability, balance. 
uh, you becoming your own pillar, you being enough, celebrating life in order for you to welcome this blessing, this energy and also to celebrate this one because the more in tune, the more happy and content you are with your life and with your experiences, this is going to make you recognize the beauty in every little things. And I think this is what your angels and guides want as well. They want you to celebrate everything you may receive. Even synchronicities. This is so little, but this is something that is beautiful. So I think this is pretty much you being in that energy. Or you need to be in that energy of being grateful and happy and excited for this adventure to happen. Volcano. Volatility. This is beautiful and powerful and it's funny that it's underneath them because this is actually giving giving them the power to be with each other and I mean twin flame and I, you know this is the flame energy so this is pretty much telling me it's going to happen in your life this is going to yeah explode <laughs> and this is why I believe this is going to be very mysterious you won't see it coming and this may be surprising for you for it to manifest this way so this is pretty much talking about that so you can see on the smoke actually a couple kissing each other so this is pretty much representing this love actually manifesting and this is also giving you some type of power for this to manifest it can be that one is going to give to be given an opportunity from the angels or guides to unite or communicate or connect with their twins it can be maybe you know encountering this one it in the world it can also be traveling because i'm seeing you moving going in the flow it can be something like that but yeah I'm, I'm seeing some type of power being given to one of you or for the both of you to unite or to see each other clouds shape shifting as i said this image you may have may be different from what you will manifest but i believe this is going to be positive i am saying that everything you may have in your mind or maybe you plan to do things a certain way it may actually be different this is what i'm saying here so try to be welcoming with whatever is going to happen the clouds also are connected with uh your imaginary it can be related to your mind, the way you think, maybe you being a bit of a daydreamer or maybe this person being a daydreamer. So they may have their ads in the clouds or you may have your ad in the clouds sometimes because you are very creative. I'm seeing this also with the blue color. So yeah, it can be that you two are creative and a bit absent sometimes and so it's actually shifting this reality and making the shapes actually the shapes actually evolve into different ones but it can be actually something positive because it's supposed to be floating it's supposed to change and this is maybe asking you to be like the clouds even not take any shape um not have a structured imagery of what you want to manifest be welcoming be more fluid i don't know if you can say that you know be shapeless let's say just go with the flow grow as well with that and not any have any static mind maybe you need to have something that is more free or you need to be more free yeah some type of freedom some type of an energy that is not going to resist anything this is what i'm getting on this card dragonfly emergence ooh, ooh. This is beautiful. Maybe you see dragonflies, by the way. So the symbol is about change, light as well. So when the dragonfly shows up in your life, it may remind you to bring a bit more lightness, joy into your life as well. Adaptability, change and transformation, realm of emotions, invitation to deep, deep into the feeling. This is beautiful. And this is why you need to, you know, go deep, merge into how you feel in order for this one to manifest, I believe. Because this is announcing some change, light, joy. And you need to be in that energy. So this is pretty much the symbol here. This is beautiful. And also you merging in that water, I believe it's going to create some type of manifestation. So you may actually... Oh, no, emergence. So, so you, you're going out of the water. It's actually a revelation. 
yeah, you reveal yourself or this person is actually revealing himself and so you know who this person is or maybe what this person is going to look like. So for some of you, if you don't know who your twin is, I believe you are going to be presented this one and so you will actually understand this person or maybe, you know, understand their identity. I'm seeing growth also, I'm seeing water, the water, the water being calm. So I think this revelation is going to be not something too dramatic or something that is going to shift your world, <laughs> not so much, but it's going to feel good to actually encounter this person. This can also just be the symbol of you actually welcoming this person, if you know who this one is. All right, so I'm going to share two cards with the message of the universe, your angels and guides that they wanted to deliver to you. So the first one is divine order. I'm seeing Libra energy here and I know this is for me also. Yes, so this one talks about everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. Order. See past the illusion. Yes, you know, it's pretty clear because this separation is an illusion. You know, you are one with your twin. Your twin is no one but you. This is your essence. This is your energy. It's just that your soul was actually embodying another, um, you know, another form because you were split it in two souls. So this is pretty much telling you to recognize that, recognize the connection, that this is already here happening. You are never separated from a twin. Even if your twin is in another planet or in another form because it can be or she can be a tree, um, an animal even, anything. So really this is pretty much telling you and to be aware that you are connected. This is an illusion, the separation. And I also believe they want you to be trustful with the universe because things are just perfect the way they are. This is divine timing also being presented to you. And, you know, this is going to be happening when you are going to be ready, when things are going to be right, when the timing will be right for you to, to unite with your twin. So this is pretty much telling you, give the power to the, to the divine, do not expect anything too much because this may create an unbalance, but you need to be balanced because I'm seeing the scale in order for you to welcome this relationship and also for you to get an opportunity to be in that relationship. So trust the divine, trust your angels, they're all working on this and they want you too to be ready. And the last message, I priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. Yes, as I said, you are going to bring this light, this clarity, this healing to the world. And I think this knowledge, this wisdom is going to empower people. This is why they want you to work on yourself, to celebrate life, to be grateful with what you do, to keep growing. Work on something that is going to make you proud of yourself. So you can manifest this energy, this knowledge. And you can see the world again represented here. And she is praying. So she is just influencing the world positively. And maybe this is your mission pretty much as a tween to do that in order for you to, to be in that energy. This is beautiful. I just want to regain your power. Some people are maybe in that illusion again. This is talking about illusion again. So you need to look past the illusion. Maybe you are doing something that is just for money or that is just for something material but there's no connection or maybe you are not on the right path. So you need to recognize and regain your power as a spirit to work on your twin flame journey already to become your own pillar. So you can actually unite with your twin as well. So if you feel you, you are not doing what is right, you are not doing what is empowering people, empowering the world, changing uh, the world's frequency, energy with what you do, you know, being an inspiration, being someone that is on top even, then it's time for you to regain your power and to reveal yourself. It can also be that. Maybe it's about to reveal yourself in what you do and not so much reveal yourself to your twin. It can be both, but I'm saying that it can be different. All right, so now I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to use my crystal ball to see any extra insights or messages you need to receive.
I'm seeing a bat, but I don't know the symbol, so I'm going to check it. So the bat arriving in your life signify a hormone of change. Also, it's asking you to pay attention to signs around you. A transition may happen. Interesting. This is wonderful. This talks about illusion, rebirth, dreams, intuition, inner depth, communication, vision. This is deep. All right, let's continue. I'm seeing fever and exit. I think some of you are too attached to their twins, but it's not healthy. So it's giving you that fever, you know, <laughs> how to say that? You know, when we say you have the fever, um, Asian fever, for example, it means you are too obsessive about this, for example. So it can be that you are becoming too obsessive about your twin, that it's creating some um, resistance. And the word exit after it, I think you need to quit that obsession about your twin and understand that your twin is not one but yourself. And you shouldn't be in that energy if you love yourself. You should be welcoming of who they are, welcoming of what Ever they experience even and yeah just be supportive and loving but not obsessive not have this fever this is what I'm getting here I'm seeing hair and I'm seeing Libra so it can definitely be a hair sign for you and I'm smiling because my oh I'm seeing a Pisces yeah, my twin flame is a hair sign. But yeah, I'm seeing a Pisces, so this can be also Pisces. I'm seeing a triangle upward. So I believe this is actually telling you to be uh, growing upward. Maybe finding balance even. But always seeking for something that is going to go further, that is going to improve your life also. Maybe this is also what your twin is going to have as a mission, to improve your life, to empower yourself. So if this person is going to come your way and trying to heal you or to, you know, maybe trigger you in, in some way, this is actually for your evolution because the triangle talks about evolution in a way. Sing the later R, so it can be a sign for some of you. Sing a bird. Like the one you can see at the sea. So maybe some of you are traveling next to the sea. The bird can also represent change. It can represent freedom, love, and peace. So it can be that for you. I'm seeing a path, an open path. So maybe this is a sign for some of you that this is an opportunity, an open path for you that will be presented for you to unite with your twin. So it can happen pretty soon. Because I believe this is already opened. So this is pretty much asking you to move on, to go with the flow. I'm seeing a star, so I think this is a message from your spirit guides. I'm seeing BW. Oh no. Reverse. The reader is pretty much of a clearance of energy. It can also be telling you going with the flow, be calm like a reader. Do not stress yourself with anything that you want to manifest. Just go with the flow calmly and enjoy the process of things. Ear, the hear. It can be that you will actually hear something from angels, from your twins, maybe to be directed on the right path. So try to pay attention to anything you may hear, anything people may say, maybe in your mind even. Sometimes you can hear something or feel like, you know, it's coming from nowhere. <laughs> and so it's pretty much guiding you, I believe. Oh, I just heard stop. So I think this is pretty much all the message I needed to deliver to you. All right, I hope you will like this reading. I did it a bit differently and I wanted it to be different. All right, if you like this one, please put a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think about this one, if it was accurate for you. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I will see you very soon, Crystal Souls. Take good care of you. I love you. Bye-bye.